Okay, so here we are in our Hello World console application that we made with our Visual Studio 19. And remember, this is a .NET Core application. So if you are practicing and working on making new applications and, and getting some practice with the um, startup window, then you'll remember that we talked about the difference between .NET Core and .NET Framework. So what we're going to look at in this video is how we run our applications so that we can see the output and evaluate what our application is doing. So this is the basic kind of hello world code. We can see here that there's a write line statement that says hello world. That just means we're just gonna write out that statement. So when we run this, we should just see it say hello world. So to run our application, we can do a couple of different things. The easiest way is to just come up here to the toolbar at the top where it has the name of our project and a play button. And I'm gonna show you why this sometimes doesn't work, uh, but we click that. And what it's gonna do is open this output window down here. It's gonna build our application and it's gonna pop it open in a console window. Now, what Visual Studio.NET Core does for us is holds this window open. Whereas if you're used to programming in .NET Framework, this window would open, you wouldn't be able to even read it, and it would close real fast. Um, so we had to come up with some tricks um, in order to get the application to stop and hold this window open for us. So this is one of the nice things that .NET Core has done uh, with the implementation of console. So this console window we can see, here's our output, it says hello world right here. And then it has some additional information about the run runtime of our application. So to add, automatically close the console, or because we're debugging, there's some steps, like if you want that behavior, if you want it to automatically close the console, we can, we can go into the menus and make that change. I don't recommend it. Console windows should stay open so you can actually see the output of your program. So when we're done looking at this, we can either press any key like it says, or we can just close that console window. So again, if you're used to working in framework, you, you may be used to hitting this play button and that box just opens and then closes and you used to have to do something tricky like put in uh, something like this, like a read key where it sat there and waited for the user to hit a key so that the window would stay open long enough for us to read it. But as you can see in .NET Core, that's not an issue. So running our applications in standard Visual Studio, uh, fairly straightforward. If we wanted to change what's going on inside of this right line, we could do that. So we could change that statement to hello C sharp people, come back up here and run. And now we see that change in our console window. So you can get some practice adding some code into the hello world, running that, kind of getting a feel for how that works. And then as we move on with our lessons, we'll kind of get more in depth in our console applications and start to look at some of the different ways that we can evaluate what's going on with our program while it's running.